in my last video about what are redox reactions i talked about the idea that oxidation is the loss of electrons and reduction is the gain of electrons now looking at this periodic table that i have here we have metals mainly towards the left of the periodic table and non-metals mainly towards the right of the periodic table and hence non-metals tend to be more electronegative whereas metals tend to be less electronegative and because of this when redox reactions occur um, metals tend to lose electrons and therefore tend to be oxidized whereas non-metals tend to gain electrons and therefore they tend to be reduced as in reduction is gained so they gain they tend to gain electrons now in terms of oxidation numbers when these reactions occur if an element or if an atom of an element gains one gains 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 one in terms of oxidation number so if it if its oxidation number increases by one what is happening is it's it's losing one electron we can deduce from the fact that it's gained gained a one in terms of oxidation number that it's lost one electron whereas if the oxidation number of an atom of an element decreases following a redox reaction we can we can we can deduce from that that the, that atom of that element has gained one electron following on from the principle that um, oxidation is loss and reduction is, reduction is gain now I'm going to write out an equation and I want us to consider this in terms of redox and analyze it in terms of oxidation numbers like like it's been like it's been shown up here so I'm going to pause this video and I'll uh, pull up an equation here okay so I'm back now I've written up this equation and this V in the equation is vanadium if I go up to the periodic table you can see vanadium is here, here vanadium so this this equation involves vanadium reacting with um, HCl and this produces what would probably be vanadium chloride or vanadium trichloride and hydrogen gas so let's look at the oxidation number changes in this equation to find out what's been oxidized and what has been reduced if, if that has happened so okay vanadium in this particular state it's not combined with anything so the oxidation state must be default so zero now um, if we take a look at the hydrogen here now the oxidation um, number of hydrogen here since it's bonded to chlorine is plus one plus one and chlorine since it's bonded to the hydrogen it must be minus one since it's group seven and now if we take a look at this vanadium is much less electronegative than chlorine it's here and chlorine is up here so chlorine is going to want to have those electrons and because of that the oxidation state or, or the oxidation number of vanadium is probably going to increase and since we have three chlorine atoms bonded to one vana per vanadium um, we're going to have an oxidation number of vanadium of plus three and we're going to have an oxidation number of chlorine of minus three divided by three minus three divided by three since we have three chlorine atoms and that's equal to minus one so if I just get rid of this uh, here that's equal to minus one for the chlorine minus one and this also produces three molecules of hydrogen gas three moles of hydrogen gas molecules and so this is combined hydrogen and it's combined to its own element it's combined to hydrogen so it's going to have an oxidation number of zero and so now we can analyze this and find out what's been oxidized and what's been reduced okay so first let's look at vanadium since it's at the beginning vanadium has increased in oxidation number by three plus three and so therefore vanadium has been oxidized so V has been oxidized because its oxidation number is increased and now let's look at the hydrogen since it's next in this line and I'll use a darker shade of blue hydrogen has gone from plus one to zero 
so its oxidation number has is has reduced and so therefore um, the hydrogen has been reduced and has changed by minus one to, to become zero and so therefore hydrogen has been uh, reduced reduced now if we look at um, chlorine here the oxidation the oxidation uh, number of chlorine has gone from minus one to remaining at minus one it hasn't changed at all so it's just going to be uh, zero plus zero and so chlorine has been unaffected in this reaction it's just remained the same so we can say that this is a redox reaction so redox question mark yes tick it is a redox reaction and vanadium has been oxidized and H has been reduced because vanadium's oxidation number has increased by three and hydrogen's oxidation number has decreased by by one and since um since we have two vanadium molecules here um that means that three electrons have been taken uh, away from vanadium and if we look here we can see that six hydrogen uh, atoms have gained electrons to become zero and so we can we can tell that these those six electrons came from the vanadium and all of them went to the hydrogen so yeah it's a redox reaction and in the next video i'll be looking at reactions between uh, metals and acids